So the product I'm using is our Glaze Guard. Uh, Glaze Guard is specially designed or developed for ceramic and porcelain time. We have a satin finish, we have a gloss, a gloss finish. Okay. Uh, the ratio is 3 to 1, 3A to 1B. You mix them all together, and then if you're doing large areas, we have a reducer that you can add to give you a bit more working time and to level out any brushes. Uh, obviously, I don't need, this is a quart kit, this is enough to cover 100, 150 square feet. So what I'm going to do is split this kit, and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is the satin. This is a quart kit of satin. When it dries, it gives you like a, a semi-gloss look. Uh, important to shake this A-side, first of all. Make sure that all the additives and everything are mixed in. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is split up this kit three to one. You can use uh, a measuring cup like this. I'm going to do three, three of the A-side and one of the B-side. So I'm looking here for fluid ounces. I'm going to do three fluid ounces of A and one fluid ounce of B, giving me four in total. Or you could use a cup like this. I have people who use shot cups, you know, three cups of A, one cup of B. Three shots of A, one shot of B. As long as you keep it in the same ratio, you're fine. And here we go. To measure out, let me turn this around so you can see it. I'm going to measure out three fluid ounces. There's three of the A. And then one of the B will take it up to four. That's it. As easy as that. Okay, so mix these together just with a mixing stick. These chemicals are very green, they're not harmful. Uh, it's always a good idea to wear some gloves. Um, some people are sensitive to uh, chemicals, so. But they're water-based uh, and easily wash off. There's zero odor, but uh, just good practice to wear gloves when handling any kind of chemical. Alright, so that's all mixed nicely. Now once it's mixed, you have an hour and a half to use this material. An hour and a half, two hours, you know, a little bit temperature dependent, but the point is you've got plenty of time to use it. Here's the reducer. Uh, I'm not going to use any reducer on this project here because I've got such a small area. Really, the function of this is to buy more working time so that it levels out and doesn't leave any brush marks. So if you're doing large areas, you know, several hundred square feet, uh, then you'd use the reducer. And typically it's one ounce per quart or four ounces per gallon. All right, and that would just be squeezed in uh, once the two products are mixed together, the A and the B. Okay, now in terms of uh, cleaning, it's very important to have this tile very clean. Uh, we recommend our CT50, which is a high pH, high alkaline cleaner. Even if you're dealing with new tile, uh, you know, you're sealing something that's going to last for many years. And you don't want dirt, you don't want footprints, you don't want hair and things locked down. So be fussy about your cleaning. Clean the tile, let it dry, and just before you're about to uh, do your application, use something like a microfiber mop just to get off any dust. Uh, that may have blown. Okay, so that's now ready to coat.